Previously on Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. Well, son, I kept alien technology out of the hands of the Soviet Union, met you, and married the love of my life. Great going, Pops. Cancer? How could I have cancer? I don't know, but you have an alarming amount of it. I've never actually seen this much cancer in a single human being, Dr. Jones. That can't be possible. Well, your son tells me you were trapped in the middle of a nuclear bomb test. Well, yeah, but I hid in the fridge. Uh, like a refrigerator? Well, I knew the bomb was gonna go off, so I hid in the refrigerator. And you thought that would protect you from a city-killing amount of radiation? Well, I was lead-lined. Right, but... So it's radiation-proof. Dr. Jones, I'm so sorry, but it doesn't work like that. The bomb gave you severe cancer. You are literally just tumors held together by a fedora. Look, I was safe in that fridge. It was a foolproof plan. So if the fridge kept you safe and it wasn't the bomb, what could it have been? Well, there was an explosion of extraterrestrial telepathic energy. What? I was in a room when an alien made a Soviet lady's brain explode with space knowledge. And then a UFO made a multidimensional jump right in front of me. So I guess that might have been it. Son, your poor father's brain is already deteriorating. He's delusional. Well, one time the Ark of the Covenant got opened right in front of me. He'll still be lucid from time to time, but you need to prepare for the worst. Lots of Bible ghosts everywhere, melting people's faces off. Probably could have used a fridge for that, too. Okay, Dad, let's let's just go home. Who are you? You're not my son. You're a terrible choice for my son. Yeah, I'm gonna take over for you one day. Nurse, call in my next patient. Uh, my estranged son is an evil space wizard and I fell off a bridge. I quit. Thanks for watching.